Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Soulmonger and I'd like to welcome you guys all back to more Transformers Revenge of the Fallen And in this episode we got a race This isn't Mario Kart, this isn't Need for Speed This is Transformers 2 and we're doing some racing here Because the Decepticons need their points to move on Yeah, they need their points 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 Yeah everybody, you hear me right, points So we're gonna be... Everybody's favorite energizer, Bunny, from the depths where he is friends with Diablo. Sideways. This is like the only time I'm going to be him, because I don't like him in this game. So let's select him right now. Look at that gun. The thing's like the size of him. Holy cow. <laughs> Maybe I should be him. He's got like the sniper rifle in this. And kind of reminds me of Joker's gun from the original Batman there, where he busted out of his pants. I don't even know how he was walking with that thing in there. But he busted out, he's, boom, one shot, Batwing falls. Somehow. Some way. Anyways. This is a little bit different. I don't remember the races being at all in the Autobot side. So we're just gonna run through this pretty quick. And Starscream's pretty concerned. But don't worry, I got that need for speed. Oh, what's this? Oh. There we go, okay. We're gonna try to hit those, but clearly, it's just a race against time and ourselves. These cars don't really do anything. I probably should have took the jump. But that's okay. We're going for the go. We're going for the plan because we can't move on with our evil, evil plan. There we go. I meant to do that, of course. Of course, I meant to do that. So don't fall off the bridge, otherwise you will meet with the troll. So here we are racing. Never done a race game on my channel. Whoa! Except for a little Mario Kart here and there. Can't wait for the next Mario Kart. That thing's gonna be awesome. They always do like a super good job. Oh, I missed a jump. Oh, I kinda hit it. And you always look forward to like new tracks in those. Because you never know what they're gonna come up with. They're always like amazing. Wait, is this it? Why do I keep stopping? Run over that van! Whoa, drift. There's somebody on my tail? Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Bam, we're getting all these things. We just need one more. For a little bonus with points, because the Scepter Cats, they need their points. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Wow. Great aim there. Come on, get there. Get there. Get there. What am I looking for? Who am I looking for? Oh, this thing? You could have just said the giant, huge satellite. But no. Let the human infestation gather no better on us. Okay. That guy just had a little tangent there. Wow, that was super short. How many points did we get? We got four. Nice. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Little change of pace. I feel like in this game, the Decepticons kind of got the short end of the stick because the campaign is totally directed towards the Autobots. I mean, the final level is Optimus. You fight Devastator. What do the Decepticons even do? Hack some stuff and r ride around the town racing for checkpoints? Yep. Welcome to Revenge of the Fallen, Decepticon campaign. We are safe. The probe reported very little data on our position before being destroyed. It would not have reported any data if our technology had not fallen into human hands. What are you saying, Starscream? That it is my fault? The human salvaged it from our ordinance. Which would have been destroyed if it had hit its targets. You and your careless shooting. Ah! Rhino, some of us are not fully completing our objectives, including yourself. Perhaps you should lead by example, rather than by flapping your mandible. Oh, I am surprised and pleased by your efforts. Seems to be a lot of jibber-jabbering, a lot of jaw flapping, a lot of finger shaking, a lot of head nodding in the left and right directions. Just a whole lot of expressions going on there. Nothing good though. Anyways, we're going to move on. To not the new zone yet because we're gonna need more campaign points again. I want to just do the other race real quick because they're really fast for this episode at least. Oh, yep, that was it. Okay. And 
This is when we really long haul. They like set you up with him. It's like, why would I ever want long haul when I can be sideways and just be a super fast car? There he is again with his bows, or there he went. The Energizer Bunny. He's got some beady red, devilish eyes. All right, come on, let's go. So much loading there. So much loading in this game. The new consoles, new generation of consoles, better not have that much loading. But let's look at, let's look at his eyes real quick. Whoa, that's freaky. All right, let's go. Going for gold. Oh yeah, Nitro's booster is active. Oh, somebody's shooting me? Whoa, 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 whoa. There we are. Jump up. Get down. That's where we're at. This one's a little bit more difficult. A little bit more weavy. Kind of cool, though. Why am I using a sniper? Switch my gun so I don't have to use that again. And I wish there was a way to access these maps in multiplayer. Like, they're not, like, that much different, but it'd be cool to have more variety. I don't even know if anyone plays multiplayer anymore, to tell you the truth. I haven't played that for such a long time. I used to play it a lot on live streams and with, like, the Turtle of Doom, but he stopped playing. I kind of just, you know, got, it got old, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I didn't, like, lose interest, but once you play a game a million, million times over and over and over, you need variety in your life, I tell you. So, I recommend other games as well. Lots of other games. They're all, you know, there's a lot of good ones out there. So many. So many. It's even, it, it's like, it's hard to say that there, you couldn't be a gamer. Like, it's hard to say, I'm not going to play video games because there's a game out there for you. If you, like, if you're that ignorant, maybe. Whoa! That was sweet. Totally screwed this up. I'm supposed to drive right there. But I was on a little tangent. Yep, there the probe is. The old alien probe. The A N A L probe from the aliens. That'd be terrible. Getting beamed up and being like, "All right, you're a first human. Guess what you get? You get the probe. And you get dissected, and you're just sitting there like, oh my gosh.' Then you just have to go on like this huge Rambo spree. That's like your only chance. But chances are you're not gonna make it out of there alive." And I'm kind of getting sidetracked here. Anyways, sideways, we raced, we had fun, good times. Pathetic. The Autobots salvaged our cloaking technology to use against us. No matter, they gained nothing and will soon lose everything. We have become too soft. Some of us have barely the right to be called Decepticons. Yes. We must be more ruthless. The Autobots have lost. We are supreme. All right. Let's upgrade. And that's it. Booyah. So we got some more points. We needed it. Pretty nice. That will pay off in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to thumbs up. Favorite share. Subscribe for more Transformers, and have a great day, everyone.